Welcome to the Sperm Donor Show. I'm Savvy Jinx, sitting alongside Painter and the Twig. What up, fuck faces? How you numbnuts doing out there? Uh, what a way to start a show. It's about time uh, we've got this shit off the ground. I huh? feel like a rocket blast off. So what's up? This is the educational hour. We got to talk to you guys. But it's only a half hour. Fuck that. Yeah. We're going an hour. An hour? Fuck well, you. Sperm Some donor of us have show to work. time. Oh, my God. Do you starting to remind me of the girl that likes to fuck for seven hours? <laughs> you're like, how the fuck do you fuck for seven hours? This guy's addicted to hearing his own voice. Hey, I love my own voice. I love the sound of your guys' voice. What a fag. But fuck that. We got to talk to you guys. There's a lot of bullshit going on. We're men, and we just see, you know, well, maybe we're men I in am. our 30s. I'm loose, loosely speaking. We're men in our 30s. And we've made all the mistakes you guys are making now or about to make right. concerning women, life, whatever. All right? First, let's start off with the clothes, guys. Let's start off with the dress. You know, I mean, you spend, what, 10 hours in your clothes, 12 hours in your clothes. You spend two hours in your car. Spend appropriately, please. You know, you got a $8,000 sound system and a Nissan Sentra. That That's you're still making 2, payments on? Come on, man. From 86? Come on, man. And guys, no more pink. I know you don't call it pink. You call it salmon. salmon. Fucking fuck that, man. And fish. you know what? Put your collar down. Put your collar down. It, it's some bullshit. That shit is played out. Faux hawks played out. Okay? Tie your fucking shoes. Take the stickers off your hats. All right? This is some bullshit. Yeah, Grow you've up. already paid for the hat. Why if the you're fuck 30 you years old, gonna... you can't wear a jersey anymore. I'm sorry. You can't wear a fucking jersey anymore. Unless you're at a football game. Even then, I'm, I don't know. You're a big fan. No. I Should you be at the a guy? football game, okay, because you paid some big money for that ticket. All right, but if you're just walking around Delamo Mall and or Tim the Brown Raiders jersey, you got to get real, man. Yeah, and if I can see real. your underwear that when you're walking. That was savvy. By the way. Wow, he came out with a fury. Like a fucking racehorse, man. Jesus Christ, man. What happened? Came out just like a racehorse. But can you finish this race? I'm tired of this shit, man. It's because of all I the beer. So no, I'm not it tired. To do with it's that. visual entertainment for me to laugh at some jerk. It has nothing street. to do with that. Yeah, it gives me great material. I'm just saying, you know, I, I know that we're a generation raised, a uh, generation of men raised by single mothers. But it's time to start becoming a man. It's time to let go of your mama. And I'm here to help you do it's that. It's time to Dicks. learn to tie your own shoes. Yeah. Pull up your fucking pants. That's a Stop good one. Stop honking at women. I, I Girls. <laughs> I, uh, I played for our, our buddy Lucky Lou the video of You're a Jerk. I don't know if you guys know that song. Or I know not. the song. You know I song. can't even dance, dude. I, I know the jerk. There is, is, it's a song by this group called The New Boys. I think there's two or three guys. And they're into the skinny jeans, but they sag their pants. You know that look? You know what I'm talking about? That, that yeah. subculture? Oh, that's horrible. That yeah. doesn't sound too the skater cool. Culture, dude. It's skater with hip-hop mixed with punk. It, it, it's a crazy like crossbreed. In the of, 80s, of they, wore, they wore ties with the piano. Do these guys happen to have the belts with the piano? Because I think I've seen some shit around town. You know, uh, it's the jeans. white belt. You seen the guys with the white belts? Yeah, That's they better bad s- fucking look. What are you doing? They better stick with the white belts because a black belt like Twig would fucking kick their ass. White belts. Um, we're talking. Uh, Do these body guys mutilation? You know, whether it be tattoos or big old ear ear lobes with oh, the holes in them. Yeah, we're talking all that shit. All all this permanent damage you're doing to your body. Just Where's to be cool. At? Where's yeah. the dads at? No, maybe the they're raised by the two gay bag. dads. Is the, the dad, dad the douche? The dad is the douchebag with the fucking shaved head or the crew cut, the flat top, who fucking drives a four by four that he can't even get into without a fucking rope ladder. I don't know. That's, man. Is the dad is that is that the dad? Is that is the dad uh the the guy getting out of his car on the freeway ready to confront you? Is that the is that the guy who's our age now? Who's just angry and didn't make it as a professional baseball player, works at Ralph's as a fucking second manager. Is that, is that the guy? <laughs> yeah. Is that well, the angry man? Well, now? there is no. Why would you be angry uh, if you worked at Ralph's? They've got to be part time dads to these kids. Now. Let's say this 
they are dads slash buddies. There are no more there fathers. Go. There you go. Uh, and, there it is. Uh, yep. Sounds like some a truth. A father lays down the smack, and a father will fucking show you what's up. Yeah, and a friend a, condones. A dad and a friend go, hey, your fucking pink hair looks great, buddy. <laughs> Give me a break. Dude. Or it doesn't look great, but let me fix it. Let's go get it cut. Until it looks like the right fucking pro hog. Or- I mean, this to me, it seems like the society has dictated that you have to accept everybody. You know, yeah. you have to. You know what? He's not rebelling. He's expressing himself. Everything Fuck is named that. something different. You know, political it's not, it's correctness. Not rebellion. It's not rebellion. It's expression. It's not horrible fashion. It's art. You know, it, it, it everything has a name, and it's not it's not the case, man. If you look like a fucking tool, you're a tool. Yeah. You know, let's yeah. keep it simple. Exactly. It's like if you go to a store where there's fucking, they got to label the price tag on everything, you know, something's fucking wrong there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, No, I don't. Oh, I shit. Don't what the, the fuck with that? Just <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's like if you go to a restaurant and you're, you got to look at the menu and buy, and, and you know, you're ordering by what... What everything what costs. The, yeah. You got to ask how much a coat mm. costs. You know, that's like, there's something fucking wrong with your budget. There's something wrong with your fucking life. There's something wrong. You know, if you're out, you're just out to be. Yeah. Or if there's, yeah. you know, a seven page manual on ibuprofen, you know, it's like, well, this is yeah. supposed to relieve some muscle aches, maybe a headache here and there. But it will give you diarrhea. Yeah. But now mumps. you have to explain Nosebleed. everything because everyone wants to know what kind of side effects they have, this, that, and the other. But then they're at the bar drinking whatever some stranger makes for them or they're at a restaurant with the closed kitchen. You have no idea what this person is doing <laughs> behind the wall. Exactly. They might be uh, feeding you some like a uh, butt cheek burger steak or something. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I, you know, I just – these kids nowadays, you know – I. I think Twig deals with kids more than I do. I'm more I'm more of an observer. I'm more of a sniper, you know. You deal with kids all the time. Yeah, this yeah. guy only you shoots must one at a the time. Difference between kids now and kids when we were growing up. Well, kids when we were growing up still had some respect because they had fathers and mothers. Now they have dads and moms who are, you know, Fuck you, mom. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You know, fuck that shit. Tell your kid to shut the fuck up and get in their room. You don't talk back to people like that. Is it the kids are worse or the kids are smarter because now they know you can't spank them anymore. Right. You can't yell at them anymore because it's considered verbal abuse. Abuse. There's too many abuses out there. It's just the system. It's the PC system. It's tired of that shit. You know, you can't. Call an asshole an asshole. You know, they they get on me sometimes at the job for cussing too much. Well, guess what, dude? Are you cussing at people or are you cussing in general? Just cussing in general. See, and I got bullshit. kids. I got kids going, what the fuck are we doing today? Well, how am I supposed to address that kid? A kid's cussing at you? Yeah. You got, I mean, oh, I got tennis players, no. so it's a little bit different. But, I mean, you see these douchebags. Like, one of the big things is getting out the gate where myself and the girls' tennis coach go in to the school. It is not an entrance or an exit. That gate is supposed to be locked at all times. And you have kids coming up to you. Could you open the gate for me? No, this gate's to stay locked. It's open for tennis players and tennis coaches only. See, They're like, come the, on, you could open it for them. Da, da, da. It's like, you know what? Walk that fucking hundred yards to the gate where they have somebody posted there and just go out that fucking gate. Right. Don't be so lazy and don't be so fucking go. disrespectful There's your that you're going to talk exactly. shit to me. Walk that 200-pound body on a five foot six <laughs> frame a hundred yards. You might be fucking doing yourself a favor. There's your uh, there's my uh my whole term paper answer. I used to have to go out and get information. Now I can go home, make a few mouse clicks, type in a few things, and it's right there for me. It's everything is instant now. Yeah. I saw a place in I think it was Japan.